So over the last decade or so, you've probably watched a crazy amount of infields from all of my clients. And by clients, I mean dating coaches. And during that time, you've watched a catalog of content from the results and outcomes that they've had from cold approaching. You've seen the highs of them getting phone numbers and going on dates, and also the lows of them experiencing rejections and blowouts. And I know that they are the most favorite thing in particular that you guys like to watch. But through the creation of making these in-field videos as content for YouTube, all of these dating coaches have drastically improved their confidence simply down to this one particular thing. My name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I try to put out content every single week to help you guys with your cold approaching skills and also how to manage your anxiety when you're going out to meet new people. So if you do enjoy this sort of content, then please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on more content that's gonna help you in future. So it's been about a week or so now since Bill's transformation with his filming and feedback sessions. And if you haven't watched them yet, then I highly recommend that you go and check them out. Now, Bill was someone who has done cold approaching for a number of years, and he's someone who goes out to practice this on his own. And because of that, he developed his own habits and routines for the ways in which he goes out to go and speak to people. Now what you'll see in the first episode of the series was Bill saying how he felt very apprehensive at this idea of being filmed. He'd said that it would be really strange with, um, with someone watching him and that he'd kind of felt very apprehensive and anxious at the idea that a camera was gonna be following him around and watching him doing these in fields as well as what the experience might be like afterwards when he would watch himself through the video footage. But like with most people that I work with, as time goes on, they genuinely forget that I'm there filming them throughout that filming session and they just get on with things as normal as they normally would if they were on their own or with their friends. And of course, as the sessions go on, as you see in the video footage, I do think that Bill did incredibly well, considering that this was his first time being on camera and having, again, someone watching him. When Bill had said that he was apprehensive and that he was gonna be nervous, I knew exactly how the session was gonna play out because it's the exact same thing with every single person that I've worked with that they always start off really nervous and anxious having a camera on them, but as they get that momentum into the session, they always get prog progressively better, and then they just have a fantastic session forgetting that I'm there filming them on camera. And this is what leads me to revealing what the hidden word is that makes guys get good at cold approaching fast, and that's pressure. Experiencing just a little bit of performance pressure can be a great way to hold you more accountable with taking action. In Bill's case, and pretty much with like every other dating coach that I've worked with, by having a camera on them, it's meant that they've had to be extra motivated to perform on camera to get great content for the viewers on YouTube. And you know what though, this tends to be an incredibly healthy distraction from, you guessed it, anxiety. The less attention that you tend to give to your anxiety, then the better you tend to perform with your approaches and less that it interferes with your interactions. It's very hard to focus on your approach anxiety or social anxiety as well, if you know that you've got to speak to an X number of people in a specific or allotted time. Now, of course, this example does relate to if, let's say, you have hired someone like me to film your infields, and so you have to get as many approaches in as possible in that time if you want to be able to get the feedback afterwards. But this same principle can be applied to pretty much anything. So for example, perhaps maybe you're 
someone who's done cold approaching for a while, but you're looking to take that next step, maybe then consider taking out a complete beginner and show them the ropes. And of course then there'll be some moment during the time that you're out together, probably nearer the start of the session, where they'll say to you, is there any chance that you can demo an approach for me so I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing? That added performance pressure and anxiety is gonna cause you to put your ego and pride aside think less about your anxiety and try and show off a really, really good approach to this guy that you've taken out. And of course, this approach is either going to go really, really well, or it's just going to make for a hilarious story for you to share with him afterwards. But nonetheless, you taking action to show off for another person is most certainly going to distract you from your anxiety. And truth be told, it's one of the reasons why dating coaches over the years have gotten so good and so good fast at cold approaching because of that performance anxiety and pressure that they've had to perform well on the YouTube platform. So by having someone like me film them on the regular, it forces them to put their anxiety aside to focus on getting really good content as frequently as possible. And just like with Bill watching his footage back, they're of course learning from their mistakes, watching this visual feedback, identifying all these bad habits and mannerisms, and they are constantly tweaking and adjusting them, which is only making their cold approaches even better, making for better content that goes out. And the ripple effect of that means then that the next time that they watch their video footage every concurring week, it then means that they are seeing their performance and growth just simply getting better and better. Now, of course, I do offer a service that helps with this particular thing, but even on the cheap, there's no reason why you can't be going out with a friend and then showing them how it's done. Being able to take someone out, uh, preferably someone who's worse than you at cold approaching, is only going to encourage you to give them a demo or two and also just learn to refine your understanding of how cold approaching works as you explain it to a complete beginner how they can do it themselves. And when you do approach, I want you even to consider just how much of an inspiration you're going to be to this other guy, showing him how it's done, showing him the results that's possible and encouraging him to be able to do the same himself. And I do believe that by supporting each other is really the best way to give and take accountability. So if you are someone who struggles with social anxiety or approach anxiety, then try and consider or look for ways that you can introduce more performance pressure into your approaches. Whether that's going out with another guy to show him the ropes, or even setting limits to approach an X number of people in a particular time. Or lastly, even maybe set yourself a reward if you can complete a number of tasks and challenges in regards to your social anxiety over the course of days or maybe a week. But the important thing to remember here is to just distract yourself from your anxiety and focus on achieving something that is only either gonna benefit you or hopefully benefit someone else. So why not give this a go and try and introduce performance pressure into your daily life or into your practicing of cold approaching? And let me know in the comments below, what sort of performance pressure did you introduce to help you with your anxiety? And lastly, I am looking for a new person to have the exact same experience as Bill. Uh, I'd love to have another transformation series of a filming and feedback session where we go out together, we film for two hours, and then the next day have your infields broken down to show other guys that they have the same similar issues and problems that you are likely going through and that you are not alone and that they aren't either. The coaching is completely free of course, but the caveat is that this is gonna be content 
that is going to go on my YouTube channel. So just as a heads up, it will be seen and shared across the platform. So if you are someone who is looking for some accountability and you want to do it on a budget, then certainly this offer is going to be for you. So if you are interested, then do head to my website, drop me an email and let me know that you're interested in partaking in this YouTube challenge that I have uh, essentially set. So till the next video, guys, just remember that by adding a little bit of performance pressure, that is what's going to make you get really good at your cold approaching fast.